Hey folks, Mike Starks, president and founder of Personal Trainer Food. Today I want to talk to you about what goes on inside your body and your mind so that you'll understand as things are changing, you'll know what's really happening and that you don't want to quit and that you'll remain patient. The things I want to talk to you about today are some diet myths and how our program works and then exactly what will happen to your blood sugar, what's going to happen to the way you think and how we apply these to routines and habits so that you'll have sustainable weight loss. Now the first thing I want to talk about is some of the myths that a lot of us have tried over the last 25 or 30 years and why they don't work okay and I don't want to spend a lot of time on these things but it's good for you to know because it's part of what I call the noise it's things that we've all tried the first one is the calorie myth uh, for years we've been told if we reduce calories or if we eat X number of calories a day then uh, we'll lose weight and, and, and get skinny now a calorie is actually a measurement of heat expenditure it was created in 1814 by a steam engine uh, engineer and in the mid uh, 20th century a lot of the diet food companies and marketing companies learned that they could sell more diet products uh, by marketing it as calories and so a lot of people think that calories are actually some physical thing in your body these white little things that burn off when you exercise or they build up when you eat the wrong things that have a lot of calories that's not true okay uh, so the calorie myth we really want to try to ignore calories just because when you eat natural food calories are irrelevant okay so just know that we don't try to count calories on personal trainer food because we're eating meats and vegetables plus calories cannot be sustained you can't eat less than a thousand calories uh, every day for the rest of your life it won't happen and new foods are coming out uh, hundreds of new items are coming out every day and it's hard to really keep up with it uh, the second thing I want to talk about is the fat myth uh, for the last 40 years, we've been told that fat makes us fat. Well, guess what? Today, America eats 3.5% less fat than we did 40 years ago, and yet we're more obese. So just remember that not all fat creates fat, okay? The uh, third item is the carb myth. Uh, I believe that the low-carb diet is probably one of the better ones out there, but again, eating low-carb the rest of your life is very, very difficult. It's hard to sustain eating less than 20 or 30 grams of carbs a day just because you have so many foods that have carbs, all right? Uh, the next is the glycemic myth. In Australia, they, cl they created the uh, glycemic uh, index saying that if you just eat foods that keep your blood sugar down, then you'll keep your weight low. And that's not true. And I'll go into detail and I'm going to show you some low glycemic foods uh, that will actually create body fat. The next one is the motivation myth, which you'll hear me talk about this in the weekly videos. Uh, in America, we think we have to be motivated to do everything and excited and everything's a party. And you buy your dance video videos and your uh, workout videos and you're going to be a muscular you know gym rat you got to stay motivated well that's not true that's why we tell everyone to focus on habits and routines that are very simple that aren't time consuming and that don't require motivation I try to tell our customers that you need to look at taking care of yourself being healthy and weight loss the same way you do brushing your teeth you learn the routine you be consistent and after doing it for three or four weeks you get out of bed you go eat the right food you go on a walk uh, and it's just a simple habit. If it requires motivation, it will not be sustained. I promise you that. The next is uh, the starvation uh, myth and the burn it off myth. And the starvation myth says, hey, look, if you just eat less food, you'll lose weight. There's a lot of truth to that, but two things. Number one, it's not sustainable. Uh, and number two, it's not healthy because you end up uh, uh, depriving your body and, and, and taking away a lot of the important nutrients from your body and it can end up damaging it. So uh, the starvation myth, we really want to try to avoid. And then the burn it off myth says that, oh, if I eat too much or if I go out and party like a rock star tomorrow night, I'll just go and work out at the gym a lot harder. In our minds, the burn it off myth thinks that or says that uh, when you're walking on the treadmill or on the Stairmaster or pumping those weights and you're feeling the burn that somehow or another fat's magically burning off folks fat does not burn off that way okay you're just making your muscles more and more sore because you're tearing them down so just know the burn it off myth is probably the number one with guys because we we still think we're in college football and, and trying to be a strong man um, 
the lazy myth. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of you out there may think that, gosh, you, you don't deserve to lose weight and that you're lazy and that you don't deserve it. That's not true. The number one reason most people are uh, overweight in America is because of confusion. You've, be, you've been told this one day, you've been told that the next day, today it's uh, good, tomorrow it's bad. Uh, and after doing this for 15 or 20 years, you finally give up because you've tried a hundred different diets and you don't know who to believe anymore. And even worse, you think it's just you and that God has destined you to be overweight. That's not true, all right? We're going to help you understand what's going on. And then the weight myth. Uh, we call it weight loss. We're guilty of it. But the truth is, is that we don't like to focus on weight. And the reason being is because weight is a very poor barometer of your weekly progress, okay? Your clothes, your jewelry, your bra strap, uh, different things are going to tell you how you're progressing. So you really want to ignore the weight. And this is especially true for females. Females are addicted to the scale. Every time uh, I've seen a woman go on a diet, she goes through the same routine. Uh, this time it's going to be different. She gets up on the Monday morning. She gets on the scale. Uh, by the end of the day, she's been on the scale a dozen times. Her weight's fluctuated. Then by day five, she's given up out of defeat because she just feels like she's not progressing. If you drink a gallon of water, it's about eight and a half pounds. And think about that. If you drink a gallon of water and you don't go to the restroom, you've gained eight and a half pounds. So in your mind, you've gained weight. So there are a lot of these factors that really uh, uh, can drive you crazy when you're trying to weigh yourself and you're focusing on a number. So just know we want to focus on routines and habits and part of those habits is learning to ignore a lot of the myths and the noise. Whenever you start on the personal trainer food program, I want you to know the most important thing that you have to focus on is the mental aspect of, of you because this is the number one struggle that most people have. Most folks want to go out and work out and buy gears and gadgets and kill themselves and burn their muscles and do all that, but it's actually we have to focus on the mental aspect and that's why we try to tell everyone to focus on routines and habits because if you focus on daily routines and you practice those habits and you're persistent, then you start overcoming a lot of this noise that's in your head with these myths that we've talked about. Now, regarding food, the key to good health and weight loss, really 95% of the battle is just eating properly. And at Personal Trainer Food, we just say, if you eat the right foods, your body will burn body fat and it'll be a lot healthier. If you eat the wrong foods, your body's going to build body fat or create body fat and you're going to have some issues and, and some mental issues also. So what foods do we, do we recommend and what foods do we tell you to avoid. First, let me explain how the body creates body fat. And I'm going to keep this very short and simple. If there are any doctors out there or anyone that wants to get real technical, you can email me and I'll address them. But I just want to keep it very uh, simple to understand for our viewers out there. First off, any processed starches that you eat or any sugars that you have, what's going to happen is when you eat that, your blood sugar skyrockets. It goes really high. And then the excess sugar basically has to be converted uh, somehow or another because it's got to get out of the blood. Your insulin will push a lot of this blood sugar down, but then your excess blood sugar goes through the liver and then your liver has to create uh, body fat, okay? Uh, so starches, noodles, even whole grains, folks, uh, will cause your glucose to rise and then it has to be converted into body fat. So that's why we recommend avoiding all the processed starches or even the whole grains. Uh, the other thing that's really tricky for a lot of people is fruit. Fruit is low glycemic. Whenever you eat an apple or an orange, typically your blood sugar doesn't raise too high. But the problem with fructose is that it goes directly to the liver and it stimulates the liver to create triglycerides or body fat. In 1986 to 88, there was a cookie company called Frookies that came out that was a fructose sweetened cookie. All the dietitians and uh, nutritionists around the world praised it, said it was the greatest thing in the world until a lot of the diabetes a couple of years later starting having obesity issues. That's when they discovered that fructose, even though it is low glycemic, it will go straight to the liver and create body fat. So the key to personal trainer food is this, is that whenever we de deprive the body of any of the fructose items that stimulate the liver or any of the processed starches or sugars that uh, tend to spike the glucose, well, your liver then uh, lowers its what we call the glycogen levels and then it's forced to bring the body fat out of your body and convert that body fat into fuel. 
That's the key to personal trainer food, and that's the key to sustainable weight loss, is eating natural foods so that your liver is using your body fat as fuel. It's very important you understand this, because right now, you're probably what we call an efficient fat-making machine, in that you can eat a Hershey's Kiss, and it spikes your blood sugar, your body starts making body fat, once we get you on the personal trainer food program and we get your glucose levels down, your glycogen levels down, then what will happen is your body starts becoming very efficient at burning fat. You want to become a fat burning, a very efficient fat burning machine, but it takes two or three weeks to do that. So know this is something that can't happen overnight. There is some, an anatomy that, that goes in here. You don't need to know all the details, but just know that if you eat the right foods, your body will become an efficient fat burning machine machine, if you eat the wrong foods, your body will likely become a very efficient fat building machine. That's the key to personal trainer food. So remember folks, first let's focus on the mental side of it. Let's ignore the noise and all the myths, all the things we tried over the years that hasn't worked. All right. The second thing is, is focusing on the right food, which is the personal trainer food weight, meats, vegetables, eggs, and cheese. This gets your liver to pull in the body fat out, burning it as fuel. All right. And then third, know that you will become an efficient fat burning machine once we get these routines and these habits in your life. Thank you again so much uh, for purchasing our food. If you have any questions, please contact your customer support at 1-800-273-1686.